Let me just say he went on. He was a little bit uh, under the weather. We have. Um, I have inquired and I've told um, my doctor and the medical team in the house to follow up in the hospital where he has been taken to and to make sure we are kept abreast and up to date as to his state of health. We wish him well. I can even understand coming in here now how anybody would perhaps without the strength collapse under the conditions that we're in now. I've been here barely five minutes and I'm already almost sweating profusely. So I do understand and I, and I apologize for everybody here that we couldn't afford you a more conducive atmosphere for this hearing. Uh, I want to say at this point and make it clear that this is not an adversarial hearing. It's not even inquisitorial. It's a fact-finding mission for the people of Nigeria just to make things better. And we should handle it as such. No one is under inquisition. But the facts must come out. And that's why the committee is doing what it's doing. I want to commend the chairman of the committee who this morning recused himself for being part of the proceedings of today's session. Uh, it shows the level of integrity of himself and by extension his committee and by further extension the House of Representatives. And I believe that he has set the stage for a free, fair hearing. The, I think um, moving forward, perhaps because of the conditions in this hall, I think we don't even need to hear further from the acting MD because he has already submitted his written report. And I heard you guys on TV asking him to speak to, to, his, uh, to his document. Um, I think you, can, you can, uh, can use the document to do the work that needs to be done. But the, the Honorable Minister has been here for a while, for a long while, and has been sitting quietly and patiently um, over there to my left, and under these conditions too. Uh, see, he's wearing a three-piece sagbada. I'm just wearing a two-piece, and I can feel the heat. I can imagine what uh, Senator Aquavio is going through. So I think under the circumstances, we should very quickly allow the committee to take testimony from uh, Senator Aquavio. And um, I believe you, this, you, you have, I think you should just allow one more witness and let every other witness uh, who wants to get, who, who you have lined up, let them just submit a um, written report. So you just take Senator Aquavio perhaps one more, and let us close this here. This was supposed to be a two-day hearing. It has now spiraled into like four days, um, so that we'll be, we'll be done with it, and um, you, will, um, you will conclude your, your work. Um, once more to the NDDC team, uh, starting from the minister, Dr. Cairo, and all the other directors, uh, uh, we're sorry for the conditions under which you have been invited. My, mem my members are, are under the same, the same conditions, and we have, uh, we're sorry. We wish, we wish um, Mr. Ponde all the best. I have told the doctor to, the clerk of the committee, as soon as you wrap up, to also go to the hospital to find out how he's doing and uh, if there's anything further that needs to be done. And that's why the leader and I thought will come and put everything, um, put everything um, in proper, proper perspective so that the, the committee can carry on. Like I said, it's not an adversarial, nor is it even inquisitorial. It's just a fact-finding mission which will involve questions and answers.
Dr. Dr. Carlo, I know I know you want to speak. I know you want to speak. I I, I think the, the 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 chairman and the committee will take charge. As was just to set the set the stage, set the stage for the proceedings moving forward. Uh, honorable members, thank you very much. You are doing an incredible job, by, uh, and I appreciate um, the the effort you are making. So the leader and I, leader, you are welcome to stay if you want to, but I think uh, we should allow the committee to take uh, to take charge. Thank you. Thank you.